G'day, g'day. Stick here and welcome to Wicked Wildlife. And in this video, we want to tackle a pretty old story, and that's whether or not baby snakes are more dangerous than adult snakes. Stick around, guys. Pretty dangerous. story that baby snakes are more venomous or more dangerous than adults has been around for an awful long time and it's a, a pretty complex topic to tackle you see there's a bunch of different things that make a snake dangerous which we've covered in a few other videos but as far as this toxicity and how poisonous they are to people there's a few different things so the three topics we're going to tackle are their yield how much venom do they have uh, their toxicity are they more or less toxic than their adult counterparts and they're envenomation. Do they really pump in all their venom in one hit? So the first third of this legend is that baby snakes have more venom in a bite than an adult does. And the thinking behind this is that when they're first born, they need more venom to get their first couple of feeds and start growing. Now this simply isn't true. And it defies common sense. The bigger the snake is, the more venom is going to have. That just makes sound sense. A good example of this is the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake over in the States. Now, in the case of juvenile eastern diamondback rattlesnakes, they have about 70 milligrams of venom. An adult has between 490 and 600 milligrams of venom. And a lethal dose is considered somewhere around 100 milligrams of venom. So straight away, a, the average juvenile has so much less venom that it's actually considered a, a, a non-lethal bite. So, as far as yield goes, baby snakes certainly aren't more dangerous than their adult counterparts. Now this makes a lot of sense. Of course, besides being smaller than their adult counterparts of the same species, baby snakes are also eating prey that is smaller themselves. And as a result, they're able to subdue that prey with significantly smaller quantities of venom than something like the adult version of the same species. So there's simply no need for them to have huge quantities of venom that uh, isn't gonna be used to tackle the species they're eating. The other thing that people will argue about this quantity of venom is that they need more venom to defend themselves because they're more at risk of a bite. But we've talked about in videos past that venom isn't really designed for self-defense. While it can kill a predator, generally it doesn't kick in quick enough that the predator doesn't have time to kill the snake. So it's actually the threat of a bite that works as self-defense far better than the bite itself. So again, there's no evolutionary benefit for babies developing these massive quantities of venom that they simply don't need. The second part of this myth is that babies have more potent venom, again, to defend themselves and so that they can catch these first few feeds. Recent studies have shown in this guy here, the eastern brown snake, that there is a shift in venom toxicity in the components of their venom as they grow older. However, what they've actually realised is juvenile eastern brown snakes have highly neurotoxic venom designed specifically to catch things like skinks. So they need a venom that basically paralyses that prey really quickly so it doesn't get away. As they get older and they eat more mammalian prey, they uh, retain those neurotoxins, but they develop a lot more what we call procoagulants, things that affect mammalian blood. So technically, as they grow older and adjust to more mammalian prey in their diet, the eastern brown snake and several other species likely become more venomous to human beings rather than less venomous. Because as I said, they eat mammals, we're mammals, so even though they can't eat us, the same toxins work on us, work on mice. So again, as far as toxicity goes, there's no evidence to suggest that juvenile snakes are more toxic than adults are. The last part of this story is that baby snakes are apparently much more likely to envenomate their prey. The theory is that as babies, they lack the muscle control to decide how much venom they're going to inject into whatever they're biting, be it mouse, skink, or human being. Now, while this is hard to disprove, there's currently no evidence whatsoever to suggest it. Now, the reason that I don't support this theory is all snakes are born essentially as exact copies of mum and dad. They're born with the ability to catch food, avoid predators, and go about their day and do all the snake things that they need to do. So there's no reason to think that they'd be identical to mum and dad except lack the ability to control muscles required to envenomate their prey. So, like I said, it's hard to disprove, but there's no evidence to suggest that they're more likely to envenomate their prey than an adult snake is. So all in all, while it might be pretty well impossible to prove or disprove that baby snakes are willing to use all the venom at their disposal, when compared to the fact that they have smaller quantities of venom and often less toxic venom, uh, due to the fact that they're smaller and eating smaller prey, it's pretty safe to say that uh, there is no way that baby snakes are more dangerous than adult snakes. If you ask any snake catcher or zookeeper 
which bites have heard of that have been the worst. The bigger snakes with more venom in a bite is always going to be the worst case, medically speaking. So there you go. Baby snakes certainly aren't more dangerous than adult snakes. Now, if you do like our videos, guys, please hit that subscribe button. Keep checking on back. We've always got more snake videos, lizards, crocodiles, possums, all sorts of cool Australian wildlife coming on up. And uh, we love your guys' support. Leave a comment, all that sort of stuff. Other than that, guys, please, as always, be nice to snakes. Have a good one and take care.